Not another good day at the yard. A lot of stuff around. The machine's cleared up the other half of the pile though. I think I found myself a good shop vac though. Just dumped the bag out because it hadn't been emptied in years. Damn old vacuum cleaner. I don't even look at the plug on it, but it says 230, 240 volt AC or DC. So it's just got the uh, universal motor in it. I don't know what year that would be, but it's bloody old. Probably 60s. I know there's a lot of vacuum cleaner collectors out there. I'll probably be able to identify it. I'll just use it as a shop workshop vac. The yeah, machine's gotten up to about this point. they pushed the new bin in. A lot of water heaters. Heaps of water heaters. Rinai gas heater. Plug into the wall gas. Another old Rinai. There's no airflow through there. That's all dust. <laughs> Yuck. already set up for propane. Hmm. This bigger one's got something I like inside it. LPG jet. Got the full set. There's another corrosion victim. Same deal. Well, time to look at today's haul. Grab the vacuum cleaner in case it doesn't work. Let me put a little shop back. Got a battery to do that um, uh, Epsom salts trick. We're going to try and rejuvenate it using a solution of distilled water and Epsom salts. Don't know how well it works. I mean, this one here still had a bit of charge. The guy who dropped them off said that they were a pair of truck batteries and one went bad. So this one's been sitting for a few years outside. Still actually have a bit, a bit of charge on it, so considering it's been sitting outside for a few years, it's done pretty well. It might just need a good charge, or I'll try the Epsom salts trick. It's an 800 cold cranking amp battery too. Some serious power. Um, old single phase pump. The wiring inside, insulation's broken down. I want to use this on the turret lathe. I've got a smaller, more poorly built pump from a... Uh, rooftop evaporative air conditioner on it at the moment but this one seems a lot tougher definitely much older all this is bronze gunmetal bottom plates brass a lot better than the plastic crap so I'll see if I can fix this motor up and also got a good Briggs and Stratton engine good compression spark everything uh, Brad said he wanted a spare one to keep on the shelf so this is his there's nothing wrong with it it does run but you can pretty much carry it around I mean, I carried it from one end of the scrapyard to my car up the front by the pull cord and she didn't even turn over until I just got to the car and then it dropped. So it's pretty good compression. Swing this thing around by the cord. There we go. So she's healthy. And these things are thrown in on the pile too. Right up the back. Someone's obviously gotten sick of looking at them. They look like there's nothing inside, but component cases. You can pull the sides out. Be good for all my uh, air and water and refrigerant fittings and things. It's good for spare parts. It's brilliant. You can isolate your section, stand them up. Really neat Australian design. The Alright, well the big battery's on charge for now. Like a, the needle on the indicator normally twitches a little bit when a smaller battery's charging, but this thing's so big, who knows what's going on inside. All the cells have adequate elect electrolyte in them, so I'll let it go for a, overnight or something and see what it does. Uh, just put a lead on this thing. 
not meant to be earthed and they never really were so that's hanging free just use some jumbo spade terminals onto the funny slanted power pins obviously it's a special Electrolux plug for these it's a model ZA65 number ME5618 18622 uh, AC or DC 450 watt double, do, not in, do not earth double insulated very typical of a vacuum cleaner and other similar appliances little wheels and skates need polishing I'm not a vacuum cleaner collector myself I don't even collect desk fans or anything but there are a lot of people out there that do and they probably enjoy this so let's plug it in and see what happens alright let's turn the power on I don't know what position that vacuum cleaner switch is in so let's find out nothing probably still switched off motor needs a service and lube it's got a really old smell to it <laughs> like a really old person's house from about 20 years ago it's not a nice smell but I can clean the bag up and give it a full service hell this thing probably worked better than my current vacuum cleaner well, no electrical anomalies so far it seems fine excellent function better than my uh, current house vacuum cleaner which is a modern version of this <laughs> well, the pump seems to be fine bearing wise I mean I was expecting it to be seized because it says oil every six months and well nobody ever oils things these days so yeah I was expecting it to be stuck but I haven't had to put oil in that and it's just fine I'm taking the impeller off at the moment so that I can take the motor off and just fix up the wiring inside or at least see if the motor's, motor's burnt out or not it shouldn't be if it hasn't seized up and cooked so in theory it's just bad wiring on it this insulation's gone hard probably exposed a chemical or something like that and it's just wrecked it but they definitely made this with the intention of pumping nasty stuff because the shaft and impeller and everything's brass or bronze there's no plastic or uh, aluminium or steel on it at all you could pump probably some of the nastiest shit in the world with this and it won't hurt it there we go we've got green for a refrigerant on our R22 cylinders and things are normally colour coded green and blue for water and compressed air no mixing these ones up this one will have air stuff like BSP and NPT fittings ball valves that sort of crap this one will have flare fittings and valves and other things like that for refrigerant systems All right, I'm not a fridgey myself but I do a little bit of hobby stuff and they're just handy to have around I mean things like that that's a massive fitting salvage and store basically eventually I'll get a re refrigerant ticket anyway and I will need flare fittings and things new stuff obviously but for now it's more stuff to play with hobby stuff I have to fire up this Mitsubishi again and see what it wants to do I haven't run it since it thawed out <laughs> poor old thing <laughs> 